what do we have here? Javier Cato. He's called Kidder Coder, I, I think. He wrote, this is one of the worst games I played this past league season in the CA Intermediate. I, I never can never say this word. Uh, I was just wondering if you give me any tips on how to point where I can improve the most and see what stands out from perspective. Let's hope he's not playing banana boys. <sighs> see, so he didn't say about C tier T, so maybe we should try to focus on the T side here. Where is C? Kadu. Okay, so it could be interesting. Do we want to talk about a little lurk in T-apps? Should we talk about that today, boys? In the last demo. What do you guys think? Could that be interesting? Or should we check what he plays to decide? No, these demos are not pros, guys. This is, um, you know, like community semi-in demos. So it can be bad and good players. We don't know, right? Um, they all try to improve, so I appreciate them sending demos. Looks like he is playing the primary lurk. I'm not quite sure yet. Let's try to see here. Sorry, guys, I get a little tired. Cardo, Cardo, Cardo. What are, what are, you, what role are you? You're a little aware. You ram, your apps. But I can't really set. Um, Finger on what role he is. Ooh. Nice jump out apps, pretty good. Yes. Get the frag on side. Pit is open, pit is clear. Good movement there, nice to see from Mr. Kato. Oh, this is a rush. This is the Hell Mary play. Oh, is the old classic mouse strat? It is the old classic mouse strat. Can we give a clap to to my old strat I created at the at the major in Berlin? And everybody copied it for a month until it didn't work at anymore because everybody knew how to counter it. So you see the way he's jumping out of is pretty good, right? He's jumping out to the left now with movement. Yes, perfect. You know? He creates space for his teammates. So sometimes you see players fuck up these uh, jumps. The time is 1 a.m. and I practice tomorrow, but I'm doing this for you guys, you know? Let's see. Mr. Kato. So he's not playing the full lurk, I guess. He's still on the banana control. We have one guy playing the lurk or the fake. I'm not quite sure. Let's try to keep an eye on Mr. Kato. Because right now, moves a B execute. Yes, flash high CT. He's saying he's had one of the worst games. I mean, for me, he doesn't have many duels right now, right? He's jumping two times out apps. I don't know, Kato, you're a little hard on yourself. But that's the problem about stats, right? You don't really see what's wrong here. Okay, what are they doing? They're rushing short. The nice, it's good. I mean, it's tough rounds. He's all the time just rushing, you know? Mr. Kato, I, I don't see. He's asking, he has one of the worst games and he's doing a lot of mistakes, he feels like. But honestly, I don't see it. It's not even made it so late. They really like to do go free guys apps here. I think Mr. Card is being hard on himself, honestly. Let's see if we're gonna do a lurk on, on Inferno. Or if we what is he playing on CT? If we're not playing B, we can do something else. But he's playing on A because I think I already talked at some point about CT side A as well. How to T lurk boys, right? It looks like Cardo was sometimes in apps here. Is that what we're talking about? T lurk on, on apps. These man, a lot of Inferno content creating here, boys. They took a lot of apps control, so maybe they can use some of the things I'm showing, right? There's a Molotov people are throwing. I'm not quite sure it is because I'm never throwing it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Against taking apps, you can Molotov boiler, right? Then you have one guy coming apps here. You just got their close apps. If you have hurts their close apps, maybe. Then you can get this Molotov. You line up here. You line up Molo there. If you want the Molo, okay, here. I'm sitting with my knee up. Bad movement. All right. I'll just do the flash instead. Yeah. So you uh, Molotov and Boiler. Then you tell your teammate uh, to a flash for you. He goes here and he aims here and he throws the flash and whoop the, you know. If this guy is holding apps off angle here, he's not blind. Like I said, I never throw the flash. 
Now it's coming, right? Yeah. <laughs> you thought I couldn't throw it. Okay, so this class is really good, right? Apps guy is coming here. He wants to take fast apps control. Molds are boiler. Check the nut down mid. Walks here. There's Molo. He waits. If the Molo is no Molo, he shoulder peeks here. He calls the flash. And your teammate is flashing uh, like this. And you can peek gaps with it. So you can decide how you want to do it yourself. If you want the flash to peek these close angles, or you just want to have no flash and you just take it like this, right? So another thing that's pretty good is that you have a bot, in this case, a teammate doing boosting you here. So you do side and jump. So you are two guys here. So they don't hear you jump boiler. Now I made a step, but that should be possible to not make a step. Yeah, you see, that's a silent boost. Also a good move to take apps with. Silent jump is also pretty good. Then what you want to do if you had two guys apps, you had one guy checking here, boiler is clear. You don't want to pick apps. So you have one apps here and one here. Then you double peek, three, two, one. Double peek, if they're playing apps, you trade each other, right? Counter the aggressive stuff. Um, I think if you play here, if they're pushing boiler, you can see it, it's pretty good. You can also have one guy on bridge just holding, waiting here if they flash, then you strafe while one guy is monitoring, right? So you have one guy playing passive and one mulling. If they flash and peak second mid, he can always go in and you can fight from bridge, right? But you don't have to be scared of apps unless they are flashing and they can actually crush fast. You can always be that little delayed, right? You come here and then you check it, shoulder peek it and walk there slowly, right? And then you can do what we talked about with the flash or you can just chill here and you go in silent boost so they don't hear you jump boiler. The most important thing is that you don't get caught off by aggression in second mid. There's nothing worse than... You know in Banana it's always 50-50 what's happening. It's grenades, or, uh, smoke, small little flashes, everything is aggressive. But we can, you cannot lose second mid. So you need to be really careful here. But also sometimes you have to speed up. So looking in apps, you should know different nades. So you come in here. You do this called the one way. You aim on top of this. And it just bounces out really nice. And you create a one way where you can jump up and you can see sight. I think I failed it now. But you can try it out yourself. Um, I think I aimed too high. Um, but yeah, you get the point here. Having not this one way. Oh, Jesus, man, it's too late now, boys. Okay. So you can try to find your own smoke here. The lands. Faint lands here. I'm not quite sure. No, this is also. I'm not sure if this is the one. This should be on YouTube, at least. So, doing that one way is pretty good to pressure apps. And then you should mull a pit and whatever. You can flash. One flash you want to add for your teammates is pretty good flash. It's just bouncing off the wall here. Your teammates don't get blind when they're running up short. Um, you see, they don't get blind, but the enemies are getting blind everywhere, actually, right? It's very underrated flash. Um, they get blind here as well, so if they're charging a side. This guy is not going to touch it, right? He doesn't see it even. Blind here as well. You know, there's all these angles where people are getting blind. And the good part is your teammates doesn't get blind, right? So, other things you should know is probably the smoke for long. This one. See, when you play some part of the maps, I tend to forget them. That's a fine smoke, I guess. So, you can smoke here. And then you go back into apps. And I recommend you clear apps before you smoke mid. So the, the the chance of them pushing while you're walking bad is very very minimal, you know. But throwing smoke here and then going back into apps kind of sucks, you know. You rather want to go fast up again app, apps here and just let them know you're here. It's fine to, for them to know. Always be very careful if they don't push apps and stuff like that. You want to make sure you don't die um, as an apps player. Also, this is a common position. If you are lurking on A, holding this position so... In case your teammates uh, to explode B, they kind of push from behind. And also, if they wanna if they wanna come back, you are really fast to walk apps, right? If they wanna fake B and come back to A, yeah, then you're really close to apps. But on the same time, you're you're safe that your teammates are not getting pushed from behind. Does that make sense? As a look. Then also throw different aids. You can also flash for your teammates when they take mid control. There's like a flash here that flashes short, right? So they are full full blind. Um, and you guys can come up boiler, they can come up mid. Um, those nades you should also test, and it's pretty simple. You can maybe find your own flash, but the same in the middle here. And jump throw. I know there's one flash that flashes actually everything here, so it gets blind. Probably should also be on YouTube. If your team is executing on, on short, you only want to come out the latest one. Because if you die apps when they're here, 
the CTs will often know that if they kill you apps, then they have to focus on short. But if they didn't kill you yet, and they're fighting short, that's where you came come out. And I can definitely tell. Um, you can try to look up to Steemo. He's really good a lurk. Um, with what I remember, at least. Little Ropsicle. Um, so he did a very good job in apps. Not dying, but also just going out when he felt like it was the right timing. So it takes a lot of um, experience to play apps. And most important thing is not to be um, surprised uh, by stuff. You know? Not uh, getting caught off guard. Uh. So a way to use a good model from A apps. I think adding this model is always the best. Um, that was. I can't remember how this model was. That was a model for the scream here. See, I I don't know if you want you guys wanna use it though. You're gonna fear more to scream here. Um and you have a lineup for me in here you can do it. But I am getting too tired to do, find that now. 